important to balance between studying the uh, religious rulings of how to fast and at the same time to look at the spiritual aspect of this holy month. And this is something that we need to practice in religion in general and not only in the month of Ramadan. One of the problems that we face is that some people limit religion to the rulings of Islam, to what is halal and what is haram. And there's no doubt that the fiqh is important. To know what is halal and what is haram is very important. And some of the rulings are obligatory on you to learn. Those that you practice daily, such as the rulings of salat or the rulings of fasting in the month of Ramadan. However, halal and haram is considered the first level in iman, the first level in religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لِيَزْدَادُ إِيمَانًا مَعْ إِيمَانٍ To increase in faith with their faith. أَحْسَنْتُمْ The true believer does not limit himself or the, themselves to the first level, to the halal and haram. But rather, they take it as a first step to go uh, further and benefit from the month of Ramadan. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about fasting, he doesn't say that the outcome of fasting is to know the halal and haram. The halal and haram is to know how to fast. But the outcome of fasting is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So you may reach piety or to be pious. Reaching the level of piety or to be pious cannot be achieved through knowing what is halal and what is haram. Reaching piety can be, uh, can, can be performed through purifying your soul. Through purifying your soul. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا the, the, Allah created the soul and He gave the soul the faculties in order for it to use it in purifying itself or in, on go, or in going astray from the path of Allah. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا The one who purifies the soul is the one who succeeds in this life. In order to reach the outcome of fasting which is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ We need to look at the spiritual aspect of the month of Ramadan.